welcome guys once again so we have gone through the basic introduction about you know test ng listeners now we'll go for one of the most popular listener called i test listeners okay before going to this listener we'll see the basic introduction or basic example why we need listeners okay in test ng or in any framework okay so we'll see one test without listener then we'll go for with listener perfect so that it will be very much crystal clear for you let's go for one test so i'm already i have already created one package called listener demo inside that i have just created one class called test1 in this test1 class i have two test test1 and test2 with add the test test ng annotation okay i'm just making both you know test cases pass by using assert assert dot assert true okay so both test cases will pass if i'll execute we'll see the result so if i'll execute this i can see in the logs what i'm getting is you know test 1 test 2 test 1 pass test 2 pass that's all we are not getting any other information okay what test got started first when it got finished if finished what we have to do okay so so far what we are doing is okay so we are not able to get to know what in all test cases are starting and finishing okay so as of now two test case it's very simple to you know see if thousand test cases will be executing so if you want to see the execution okay currently which test cases is get, getting executed okay after this test cases what i have to do okay so after every test start finish fail or skip you want to print some value or information in the logs okay in the logs then test ng will be very very helpful in this case okay so now we'll create a very small you know test example or a small a listener which uh, by using test i test listener and we'll see how we can implement in our test okay so let's go and start implementing you know one test ng listener okay so first listener which i will be talking about is i test listener so let's go for basic first then we'll implement in our project so this interface again used in selenium to generate logs or customize test ng report so you can use in you know selenium you can use in api automation you can use in you know apm wherever you want you can use it okay so in this session what we are going to implement is i test listener which have following methods so we have on a start on test success on test failure on test skip on test fail but within success percentage on finish so if you have multiple steps if you want to capture how much steps got passed and that percentage i want to capture this particular test case says you know uh, success percentage is 20 percent means three out of you know uh, seven steps got passed so like that we can capture on finish what you want to do you can capture so here on a start method will call when any test start simple so i have given the proper description you can go through this on test cases this method will call every time when test is success and this method will call every time when test is test case is getting fail like that okay so we'll see how we can implement in our test project so let's go and implement so i'll create a first listener okay so i'll just create my first listener okay uh, listener one or you can see that listener listener one so now i'm creating a listener one so here what i'll do this is just class i have created now if i want to you know create i test listener i have to you know implement to i test listener okay so you have already aware of you know interface concept so since all the interface are uh, all the listeners are what interfaces so from class to interface we always implement so i need to implement that implements okay i test listener i want i test listener so if you'll see you will get all the listeners i test annotation i test listener i test finder i test ng listener I'll go for I test listener okay done once I'll go I'll get the error here okay so just go there you can see there the type of listener one must implement the inherited abstract method 
i test listener dot on test fail but within success i test result so these are the multiple you know methods will be there so i'll just quickly go here add unimplemented method okay so abstract method are there so in interface all the method will be abstract that was that is you know very basic concept which you should know or else just go to you know abst uh, interface section watch the video uh, and come back so so i just have to you know click here add unimplemented method so till now what we have did just created one class and implement to what listener i want so i test listener i want so i implemented i test listener that's all nothing i did till now after that you will get this error go there mouse hover then you will get add unimplemented method i'll just do one click i can see all the all the abstract method came here okay all the abstract method by default came here okay now i want to print something after test start okay so this on test start will execute every time one test method will start executing or one test is getting executing okay so i want something to be printed into the report or console when test is getting a start so i'll just as of now i'll just write sop statement so that i can show you the report okay i'll just write okay the name of the name of test case test case started is okay so what is the test case name so i'll use this reference result dot get name okay so result dot no get name i use okay get name okay we have multiple things so we can use in any of the things so i'll be using get name if i'll use get name i'll get the particular test name which is getting started okay similarly i'll do copy paste and on text success also i want the test case name so same same thing i'm copy paste so i just now you know for showing the demo purpose i'm just writing the same so test case you know started test case success test case fail okay then again here i'll be writing test case skip okay so n number of things there on test start on test finish okay so here also i'll be writing so you can start right like this okay here also this is context okay we'll talk about later so now i have implemented very you know basic test ng listener by using i test listener okay and we have written something now let's use this in our project so i have one test already so as of now if i'm executing so if i'm executing as of now i'm not getting any logs okay i'm just guessing getting you know basic test ng you know execution report or logs like you know test one pass test two pass like that right but now i want to everything should be captured whatever i have implemented in these listeners okay so now this is how we can achieve it so we'll see now so we can achieve by using two way so first way is we'll see how we can achieve so let's go to this class so i'll just execute this first okay already have executed so started so let's see system is little slow so my test case is getting executed and i can see this both test cases will be pass test one and test two both will be passed that's all i in console nothing will be recorded as of now now i'll implement listener so i have created already one listener which is here okay this is very basic listener now i'll try to you know you know uh, implement in this class okay so very simple so i just have to you know write at the red listeners listeners okay at the red listeners spelling mistake listeners okay then let's import this so yes so it will be from org.stng.annotation.listeners 
then I have to call that class where I have implemented okay with package name okay so where is this class so listener demo dot listener one okay so listener demo dot okay listener one okay dot class you have to give always that's all so my listener is now implemented for this class okay now if i'll execute let's see what will happen so i'll quickly execute if i'll execute now we'll see how this test you know get is getting executed so everything will capture now test start okay and test end or you know test failure so as of now only test success will be there okay we'll see this how it is going to capture into the report so test ng results listening job okay so it's taking time for execution so just wait for the execution let's wait for the execution yes it started so we can see here in the logs how it is getting executed how it will look like just little expand here so let's see the name of the test case strategy is test one test one is started I means done then test or uh, one minute so the name of the test case is success is test one so I started and success only it is capturing because I have you know that only option today now then test name of the test case is started is test two again test two is started test two then test name of the test cases success is test two so as of now both cases success so it is capturing you know only success if i'll make as a fail if i'll make this test cases fail by using false now let's execute so now we can capture again test cases fail is this let's see so let me execute and we'll see the output again it is executing so if you'll see so for every test class i have to write you know add the right listener then i have to call that particular class so how to make it you know common throughout the package or throughout the project okay we'll see in the next session okay first see the execution so one test case is pass and one test case is fail so let's see how it will look like into the report so the name of the test case started is test one test case success is test one okay then i'll go again so the name of the test case strategy is test two test two is executing then the name of the test cases fail is test two so now i can see all the test cases report here okay when it started which test case is getting started which test is getting success when which test case is getting fail so like that it is very easy for you know user to read these things right so let's discuss more about these things in the next session so thank you for watching see you in the next